By now, everyone has seen or at least heard about the massive LED sphere in Las Vegas. When I first saw it, I said, wow. And then, just like everyone else, the next thing I said was, I need to build one. So I did what I always do when I want to build something crazy awesome. I called GERS. We wanted our sphere to be big, but not so big that we wouldn't be able to move it around. We decided an 8 foot diameter would be a good size for our first attempt at this. And yes, I'm implying that we will be making more versions. In fact, we're already pretty far along on designs for a smaller one that just about anyone will be able to 3D print and build yourself. To make a display on a ball, we had to solve one fundamental problem. If we just fold a matrix around a ball, we'd have a bunch of pixels bunched together at the top and bottom, but at the equator, the pixels would be too spread out. To make our sphere rival the one in Las Vegas, we had to design it so the resolution is the same at the top and bottom as it is in the middle. That means there's less pixels in the rows at the top and more in the rows around the middle. If you really want to know, there are 45 pixels in the top ring and 310 around the equator. As soon as we had the basic idea together, Gers went to work designing the frame. It's made up of five horizontal rings, 18 vertical ribs, and 77 rings of pixels. When the plans were done, we took them to our friends at No Limits Manufacturing and Design. They've got a couple massive CNC routers, and they were able to cut out all these parts for us in about two days. With all the pixels hanging on this thing, we knew it was going to be really heavy. We estimated it would weigh about 500 pounds, and we knew we wanted it to be outside. We would have loved to have cut it out of something like plexiglass or acrylic, but that was way beyond our budget, and this thing is going to be expensive enough. So we stuck with wood, and the guys at No Limits suggested we use a special extra durable plywood they called Gorilla Ply. Because we put a good amount of thought into the design, and we had precision cut parts, the building of the frame actually went really quick. We got the whole thing together in about six hours. Painting it actually took a lot longer, but thankfully we had a lot of help. After the frame was all put together and waterproofed, it was time to start putting on the pixels. This was absolutely the most difficult part of this whole thing. Okay, you got how many of these pixels to poke through there? So I've got, uh, it's 20,000 pixels, one by one, all 20,000. We wanted the pixels to be equally spaced vertically and horizontally. So we used one inch spaced Boscoyo pixel strap, which happens to also be one inch wide. I'll do the math for you. 20,000 pixels, one inch apart, means 1,700 feet of pixel strap. I timed it and it took about 15 minutes to push 100 pixels into the strap. Again, I'll do the math for you. That's about 50 hours of pushing pixels. We did use pixel pushing pliers and a pixel pushing jig and we wore work gloves, but we still got blisters and it was still painful. The next step was mounting the pixels in the strap on the frame. This was one of my favorite steps because it really started to look like what we had envisioned in the beginning. When I came to a point where I needed to butt the ends of the strap together, I took a small bit of strap and made a patch. The vertical ribs have notches and the pixels fit just right and are held in by friction. We did go back and add some nails to hold the strap to the ribs. Before I ran the pixel strap all the way to the bottom, I had to send in my mini electrician to make the connections. Once we put all the pixel strap on, there'll be no way to get back inside there. These last few rows are really, really hard. Way harder than any of the others. Ugh. Ugh. In total, there are exactly 20,028 pixels. I measured the power draw, and as you would expect, it varies a lot depending on what is being displayed. At rest, with nothing being displayed at all, it uses about 4 amps at 120 volts. The highest draw I measured with the display running was 17 amps, with most effects pushing the draw up to 6 or 7 amps. Next, we needed something to make it do all the flashy blinkies. This is the brains of the sphere. This is a Culp 32 made by Daniel Culp. 
It's got 32 data outputs. We're using 29 of them. Each one has 700 LEDs on it. Each channel is labeled in case we have to do any troubleshooting. Underneath is two 12 volt, 100 amp power supplies. Those are data server power supplies. This should keep it nice and safe and weatherproof. It does have vents as well because when this thing is running, it gets warm in there. Those power supplies have good fans and they put off a good bit of heat. There's an extension cord plugged into a 20 amp breaker that's powering the whole thing. There's an ethernet connection between the CULP and our home network. And it all fits nicely in this enclosure provided by CCL controllers. Thank you very much to them. So there it is, the brains of the sphere. The CULP sends the data information to each pixel. But to make the actual designs we want displayed, we use a software called X-Lights. The real secret sauce that makes an X-Lights sequence work on a sphere is pure pixel head magic. If you don't know what a pixel head is, you should join our Discord. The pixel heads are the nicest, smartest, most helpful LED experts you'll find anywhere. There wouldn't be a mini megasphere without the pixel heads. Thanks, fellas. Making a sequence in X-Lights is a lot like editing a video. There's a timeline, effects, and layers. We can display a video or a picture on the sphere, or we can play around with all the different colors, shapes, and patterns available in X-Lights. It's easy to get lost playing with X-Lights and spend hours making designs. Well, that's it. Oh, you want to see it in action? Okay, it's demo time. I see you. There is no life in the void. Only death. You cannot die. I see you.
that's all for now. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, adios.